Good morning everybody. In today's presentation, we will talk about sets available in, available in order management, fulfill set, ship set, arrival set. To demonstrate this set example, I create a sales order and I am adding the lines in the sales order. The, the feature of the set says, if lines is a part of a set, it will basically progress together. So to add the lines in the set, I selected both the lines. Then I press the right click and from the drop down menu, I navigate to the sets, add and fulfillment set and enter the set name F1 and press OK button. And the system added both the lines in the fulfillment set F1. So now I book the order. So if the lines are part of the fulfillment set, it will fulfill together. In my case, to demonstrate that, I will basically ship confirm the line one and then run the workflow background process. So once the workflow background process will run, the line 1.1 should be closed. But in this case, since they are a part of sets and 2.1 is not yet fulfilled, so 1.1 will wait for the 2.1 to be fulfilled and then they will close together. So now what I'm doing is I'm doing the manual scheduling as my workflow is set up for the manual scheduling. So both the lines are the part of fulfillment set F1. So I want to ship confirm the line one. So I go to the shipping transaction form, query for my order, and then select the delivery detail associated with the line 1.1 1 .1 and pick release the delivery detail for the line point 1.1. 1 .1. Now the, pick, uh, the order is pick released or the delivery detail is pick released and now I do the ship confirm for the delivery. Once it is done, the delivery is ship confirmed now. So let's run the workflow background process because once we uh, do the ship confirm with ITS, the workflow for the line will be at the sh uh, fulfill line effort. So once I run the workflow background process, the workflow should go to the fulfill line activity and then invoicing and then close. But in this case, because they were part of the uh, fulfillment set, the line 1.1 will go and sit at the awaiting fulfillment. And the workflow for this 1.1 will be at the fulfill line notify status. And it will not proceed any further unless line 2.1 will also reach fulfill line notified status and with the workflow status is awaiting fulfill. So to demonstrate that, I will pick release the delivery detail for the line 2.1 and then ship confirm. Once the ship confirm for delivery detail for 2.1 is done, I will run the workflow background process. And once that is done, both the lines 1.1 and 2.1 should be closed. So let's do that. Query the order again, refresh the order lines again. And now, as we see, both the lines are closed. Now I'll try to remove one of the closed lines from the set. And system will throw an error. As we as system will not allow us to remove any closed line from a set. So now, to demonstrate how to add the lines to the ship set and arrival set, I add two more lines, 3.1 and 4.1. And then select both the lines and right click and from the drop down menu, I first select the fulfillment set and add these two lines to a fulfillment set F2. And then again, select these two lines and from the sets, I will select ship set and then add these two lines to ship set S1. Now these two lines are the part of ship set as well as the fulfill set. Now I try to add these two lines to the arrival set A1. But as we see, system will prompt us an error because the line can be part of ship set or if arrival set, but cannot be part of the both. But a line can be part of ship set and fulfill set 
or arrival set or a fulfilled set, but not a part of ship set and arrival set together.